Hello again, and welcome to this lecture. That brings us to the end of this talk. Just to summarize, these are the changes you need to look for. Hyperacute T waves, ST segment elevation or depression, Q waves, or T wave inversion. Okay, and what I hope you've noticed is that if you look for these four things, you won't miss a STEMI. Even in the more subtle or unusual cases, at least one of these features will be present. So if you check every lead for these four things, you're not going to be missing anything on that ECG. Having said that, there's always going to be times you're unsure. If you're unsure, my first piece of advice, repeat the ECG. Get another ECG in 10 or 20 minutes, and if there is ischemia, it should the ECG changes should worsen or progress in some way. And if you're still not sure, call for help. Okay, It's even built into the guidelines. If you're struggling to interpret the ECG in a patient that you suspect might be having a myocardial infarction, get help from either a med reg, a more senior emergency doctor, or from the cardiology team. Alright, that's it. I hope you feel more confident interpreting the ECG for patients with chest pain and when you're assessing for ischemia. I'll see you in the next lecture about conduction disease.